While I love building and modifying printers, using them for a project is always super rewarding. And it's really what gets people excited about 3D printing. There's no shortage of 3D printable projects out there, but many of them require self-sourcing hardware and might be a little ambitious for someone with limited time. This is something I believe Bamboo Lab has done really well. With the introduction of their A series of machines, they started to include a little project kit with the printer that includes everything you need to build it. From pre-supported and positioned parts to a detailed guide on the assembly process, it's incredibly accessible. They've expanded on these kits quite a bit and even introduced Maker Supply, a portion of their website with additional project kits, along with all sorts of miscellaneous electronics and hardware for anyone looking to design something themselves. Which leads us to Cyberbrick, their most recently announced lineup of projects that's sort of its own ecosystem. Bamboo Lab sent out a couple of these kits for me to play around with, and while my initial plan was to do a live stream where I go through the process of building one of these, with how much fun I had building these two, I decided to instead make a standalone condensed video. So in today's video, we'll dive into Cyberbrick. We'll go over what it is, why I'm excited about it, and I'll share my overall thoughts based on my time with it so far. So with all that being said, and without further ado, let's get right into today's video. The first time I saw these little RC cars was in Joel Telling, the 3D Printing Nerds Form Next video, where he interviewed the CEO of Bamboo Lab, Dr. Tao. I don't know if I was multitasking while watching the video or just completely missed it, but I was under the impression that these RC cars were sort of just a marketing thing that they had built for their trade show booth. Well, a little over a month later, Bamboo Lab reached out letting me know they were releasing RC kits, and that there would be more surrounding them than their typical standalone projects. This new line of projects called Cyberbricks sort of feels like the natural evolution of Maker Supply. The main way this differs from their other projects is while there are official kits, which is what I've built so far, its backbone is more of a sandbox, allowing for heavy customizability, programming, and the creation of original designs surrounding it. At the time of recording this, Cyberbrick is live on Kickstarter, but for those that prefer to wait, the kits will be available through Maker Supply. On the Kickstarter page, you can see some of the additional designs made by community members, including a train, crane, tractor, go-kart, and many more. While I anticipate this project will evolve once it's in more hands, it currently stems around a few PCBs that can be connected to various electronics like servos, motors, and LEDs. I was informed that what I received and the experience I had was an early version. But even with that, putting the forklift and the truck together was a blast. The STLs came in the form of a project file with everything separated onto different plates by their filament and color with all of the supports and settings exactly where they needed to be. Using the A1 for all PLA and PDG and the A1 Mini for TPU because I didn't have the AMS, I printed out all of the batches of parts for both builds. Once I finished with the printed parts, I laid them all out so that they would be easier to find and took a look at the included hardware. The PCBs attach to each other with pins, so no soldering is required. And all the wires were pre-crimped, which I was especially thankful for when I took out the tiny LED PCBs. Maybe a small detail, but one thing I really appreciated with the official kits is that they use a singular screw size. Both of them use the exact same screw, which I feel like had to have taken some careful planning when it came to design considerations. The Kickstarter mentions there will be a mobile app that can be used for the assembly process, but with my early build, I followed along with a PDF. The step-by-step -step instructions were really clear, and while I had to zoom in a few times to verify where screws or wires should go, the overall build was great. Some of my favorite parts were building the gearboxes, the differential for the truck, and the cable-driven arms of the forklift. As someone who's been interested in RC cars for years but has never built one, watching it all come together was a real treat. The only tools I needed was a bit of super glue, some scissors, and my driver for installing those screws. When the physical build was done, I powered on the controller and the car and went through the pairing process. 
This might change for launch, but in my case, the controller put out its own hotspot that I then connected to and used that to access the web server. There were a few pre-configured options available, but you could also go in and map things differently or set custom behaviors for things like the LEDs. The first time I saw the little forklift arms raise all the way to the top and the little turn signal flashing, I couldn't help but smile. I ran downstairs to show Aaron my newest creation and even let Jackson take it for a test drive. We're still working on the whole controller thing. If I had to describe my entire experience with Cyberbrick so far in one word, it would be fun. The entire process from deciding on colors to building it and then driving it around has been lots of fun. While of course this is set up with custom plates and settings for Bamboo Lab printers, I see no reason why somebody who doesn't have one of these machines that wants to build one of these couldn't do so. One of the community projects I was sent is the train model and I am really excited to get that printed, assembled, and start printing out tracks for it to ride on. If the experience I had is only the early one, I can't wait to see where all this goes and what sort of projects others come up with. A lot of what I print and build is functional, and while I really enjoy that, this has been a breath of fresh air that I think others will enjoy as well. And that's been Cyberbrick. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you have a better understanding of what it is, and hopefully I help to answer some questions or give you a better idea of whether it's something you are or are not interested in. If you have any additional questions, let me know in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer. I imagine that all questions coming through Kickstarter backers will be probably public on the Kickstarter page, but regardless, if you have questions, let me know and I will do my best to answer. And as always, if I don't know the answer to your questions, I have no problem reaching out directly to Bamboo Lab to try to get those answers for you. On that note, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos. We make a video just about every single week, so there's always fresh content coming your way. And if you do want to support the channel further, I'll have links in the description over to our Patreon, where there are some really awesome rewards. Huge thank you to all of our existing Patreon supporters. I appreciate each and every one of you for allowing me to come back every single week and spend more time doing what I love, which is making content for you all to enjoy. On that note, this has been Deanna from ModBot, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Peace, guys!